Hello everybody and welcome back to the Parliamentary Hotel. Here we have our residents, Mr. Johnson, Miss Truss, Mr. Starmer and Mr. Cameron all working away like little beavers as we try and get our gas pumps and gas oxygen systems installed. Um, I can't remember because it has been a minute since I, uh, since I did this. I can't actually remember if we had agreed upon where we were going to take these gases. I actually don't remember. I don't necessarily think I want to take them into like there. It probably needs to go over here, right? But if I build through there, then all oh, that gas is going to start making its way across. What's up with Cammy? He's got food, uh, food poisoning. How long will you have food poisoning? One more cycle, okay. So, first of all... Build those gas pipes there, although that's going to be a pain, isn't it? Because we can't, uh, we can't get get to that. Um, hmm, we can get to that. We can, if we do that, I think we should be able to build the rest for that. That's fine. Uh, and then, yeah, I think we are going to need to. If I got a a door. Pneumatic door. Yeah, so that doesn't uh, block liquid or gas flow. I need one that blocks the gases from flowing. Where is... That one. That's what we need next. We were doing plumbing, weren't we? But I think we kind of need pressure management. Actually, no, let's do plumbing. Let's, ca let's carry on with where we were. Carry on with the plumbing. Uh, but otherwise, everything else is kind of okay. Oxygen levels looking good, apart from the areas which we, we know are crap, which is fine. We're hoping that uh, we can do some pumping. I might actually get a little uh, couple of those down there just to um, help with the decarbon dioxideifying of that area. Got tons of water left in here, which is fine. We can actually now... Deconstruct that lot as well. It is food time. Speaking of food, how are our plants doing? Seventy-three percent growth. The trouble is, is that <laughs> power is a problem. When do we get the ability to uh, develop some better means of power? Got a jumbo battery that that. that. Coal, ge coal generator and wood burner both of which will produce carbon dioxide so they are going to have to be um jesus do we get anything that's even remotely clean all the way back to here okay so we're gonna have to deal with some um horrible water at some point what have we got in here at the moment Still got some nutrient bar and we've got some muck root in there as well, so it's not too bad. I think we turned this off, didn't we? We did, we turned that off, that's absolutely fine. Did we actually disable this? Yeah, we're gonna disable we're gonna disable that building because we don't need it for the time being. Right, well once we do this, I think we're effectively on the cleanup. I'm not gonna plug power into these things just for the moment. Uh, we can, oh, we can, we can disable them anyway, that's fine. Come on, Cameron, keep going. I also did have a thought. Oh, we got, oh, we have another, we have another member of parliament. Another member of parliament is upon us. Uh, we are not going to be doing that for the time being because we are not in a situation where we can support a fifth person. I do not want to get too far ahead of myself until our colony is a little bit more self-sustaining. Right, our algae things down there are um, at least attempting to uh, emitting polluted water, did that just say? I mean, that's not ideal. I really don't want... Let's deconstruct those. I really do not want polluted water getting into our main water supply. That is absolutely not what I want. Okay, right. 
they, they, oh, these ones, these bristle blossoms take a long time to grow. Bloody hell. Sixteen hundred calories from one of those, and six hundred. Okay, well, you get more calories from them. All right. Hopefully, with the cleanup operation that's going on up there, we should be able to move all of that stuff over there. We also we do need to find a way. I mean, we can use the bottle emptier over here to dump the polluted water into there. But at the moment we don't, uh, yeah. We don't have a way of getting over there and stopping the gas from coming the other way. So, what have we got? Draws in liquid and runs it through pipes. Liquid pipe, liquid vent. Okay, yeah, that's all fine. So at the moment, we don't have anything that actually requires the full plumbing, I don't think. Um, requires no piping. Where is... is it medicine? So at the moment we don't have anything that requires the water pump, which is fine. Uh, let's now... where were the doors? Pressure management there. Let's get let's get that in. Across the gas volume. And the if I remember rightly, the liquid. Which one was the this one? The liquid field of the filtration system. That was one of the ones we want to get to as well. Uh what do we want? Sweep. Sweep that load up, please. And ultimately, I want to move, I want to sweep all of this up. A lot of, uh, lot of collection activities. Got another storage bin there. I just want, I want everything to look tidy. And it's, this is a big job because I know it takes ages for it to happen. Right, we have our first plant for harvest. And then... We do this one. It needs 1,200 calories of meal lice and 50 kilos of water, and it creates something that's heavier. Uh, we'll re-enable that building. David Cameron, how are you doing? You must be almost there. 25 seconds. Just notice as well is that all of our food, even in this ration box, all seems to be uh, unrefrigerated. So we need to be uh, reasonably quick to get some of this food made. But they don't seem to be doing much of the fooding at the moment. How is our... Oxygen. Okay, we, we get little pockets of blue appearing. Okay. And he's just... He just... He picked up some water, Boris, and then just threw it down there. Boris! Pissed himself in the last episode, and now he's just dropping water into there. Fucking helmet, honestly. Okay. How are we doing on the research? 11 out of 20. Okay, we're doing okay. So we are not far away from being in a position where we can have a, a lock here. Dare I? Oh, we can't. We can't even get there. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Okay, right. We can't even get there at the moment because we don't have the um, the hard digging skill. How do we get to that? Food is all up there. Solid material. Is it this? No. Uh, 
Um, pharmacology. Exosuits. Rocketry. Um, okay, how do we get to the... Is it a skill that they have to just sort of level up their digging skill to the point where they can then dig out heavier things? Oh, it is. Look, hard digging. So, who is... Well, nobody at the moment who's like that. Uh, who's next nearest to a skill point? It is Mr. Starmer is the next nearest. I don't know if anybody... I haven't got anybody who's a an outrightly good digger. Maybe the next person we print in the old printing pod, maybe they'll be a good digger that we can get them through. That is something we are going to need. Right, we've got no more food poisoning in the camp. What are these little things? Hatches excrete solid coal as waste and may be uncovered by digging up buried objects. The hell? Pissing out natural resources. Or shitting out natural resources, I should say. Um, doesn't look like you can actually do anything with them. They're not, they're not hostile. Ah, we'll just keep them around. But all the while they're on here, they can't bury it. They have to be on uh, solid, solid ground over here. Right, all of the daily jobs need to get done. Yeah, that's going to be a problem because I do need to get rid of some of that carbon dioxide. Maybe we just pump it down here. Because carbon dioxide does sink. So maybe we go over there. Right, so everything is running okay at the moment. I mean, power is a problem. we are using a lot of it and no one is making any food either which is building will be operated once a duplicate is available is this just not a high priority right now where's our priorities um operating is low priority for everybody we'll do we'll do if we do that should mean that uh, Keir Starmer, once he's finished on his daily exercise routine, should then take to um, those priorities. So cooking and operating will become a little bit more of a priority for him. We're not doing any cooking at the moment, of course, but it won't be long before we have to think about that. Once we get further down the research tree. We st we're not struggling up there, are we? Oh, who's pissed themselves, for God's sake. Liz! Oh no, it's going into the main water. Oh, you. You're literally standing next to a fucking toilet. And you've just. Oh my god. You've literally just pissed in our water supply. Unrested too bright. We need, yeah, we need to get rid of that shine bug. Attack that bloody thing. Get it out. Don't disinfect. That's my word. It's, it's mop, isn't it? Not I want. Right. Have we... Uh, there's water... Have we got a, um... Doesn't look like we have. Do I have an overlay for... F for water? I can't... I can't mop. We can do that, potentially. Uh, new printers... Uh, research is done! Okay, well, I mean, in... In effect, it didn't do a great deal, just because we've got... Oh, we can, we're going to go down here, aren't we? That was what I said. 
Um, okay. So. We're going to go there. We need to dig out that lot. And to put a ladder there and we'll put some tiles across there and then we'll probably dig out. We'll do that. And then we are going to release our gases. Into there. We will then also put a uh, manual airlock there. We will cancel that, that. Mm, can we still dig that one out? No, we're going to leave that one there. Right, that's the plan. We then also need to build... Uh, do that. Okay, lots of building going on here, lots of planning going on. They're all holding their breath there as well because the oxygen levels are quite terrible and they are getting worse actually. That to me is creeping up that, that ladder. Maybe we can also build... Do we put polluted water over here as well? I mean it is a little bit close but we could. We could put a bottle emptier. We could put one of those there. I'm asking quite a lot of my little duplicates here. But we could just have this layer down here. For that. Uh, we're also going to need to build wires. Like that. Like that. To get those gas pumps working. We are going to enable the builder. We, know, we are going to need to think... Oh, have I got anything researching at the moment? I don't think I have. I think we're going to need power, you know. We need a, we need to get the internal combustion. Let's get that power regulation off and running. We may also need to get another person in because it feels like the amount of work being required at the moment is beginning to outweigh the number of duplicates that we have. That is my concern at the moment. I'm going to deconstruct that lot. We're going to plant some more things but we need somebody to work this microbe we need to start producing more food it really does feel like we are just fighting a little bit against the uh, the tide of carbon dioxide but we need to rid some of this carbon dioxide that is definitely the priority for the moment I feel Right, okay, so the gas pumps are working, but the pipe is blocked because there's no... I think that's basically because there's no there's no exit tile at the moment. We're also going to need to sweep... ...along there. At some point, the trouble is, is that they're all... 
She's got hypothermia. She's got yucky lungs. It's funny, isn't it? Because it just feels like you're fighting against a never-ending tide. Breathability is at 63%. But I think that's largely being driven by the fact that this area down here is so bad. If we can get these, these gas pumps working, I'm really hopeful that that's going to look to solve a good chunk of our problems. Have you got food? Did I just see you got food poisoning? No. I've never actually looked at these reports. Okay, so look. We only added six, so this is actually, I should have looked at this before. We've only added 600 calories worth of food and we've consumed nearly 4,000. So we are losing a fair amount of calories per day. So that is a big, big problem at the moment. Um, this is, we added 50,000 germs. All on Boris. What is he doing? Is he just going around licking things? Uh, oh, we've got three skill increases today. Liz Truss pissed herself. We've got 353 errands at the moment. We can we completed 306. So we need to bring that down. 51% of time spent on work. Okay. We were net positive though on power. But that's only because I suspected it ran out long before we could actually use what we needed to. What is this? This is our little... Okay, this is a little... This is nice. The full report. Okay, stress is... Stress was high in that cycle. I think that was because I was asking quite a lot of them, so that's okay. Um, calorie consumption is a bit all over the place. Right. Okay. Research complete. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I know, I know, I know, I know all that. So did people... Le le have they leveled up then? No. Oh, he has. Has he? Skill points available, zero. Yeah. So why is it two out of one then? Oh, we can give him a hat? We can give them hats? Improved construction. Have a hat. I'll take that off. Plus two to construction. I didn't realise if you gave them hats. Okay, we'll, just give them, we'll just give them all hats. Keir Starmer apparently is the only one who wants to wear it. Oh no, no, they will put them on. Everyone's very pleased. Liz Truss is... Not, not entirely sure what she's doing, but you really need to go to bed, Liz. Did we get rid of the light bug? I think we did. I did I did tell everyone to attack it. Yeah. Hopefully if we can get this done, I don't want to get another um another duplicate in, another MP in before we complete this. This gas pump is really important to get finished. Aha! Skill point. Is that what that meant? Why did she just... Why did she just jump around like that then?
Damn it. They must, they must gain experience when they're doing these jobs, right? Yeah, we are asking a lot of our people here. There's actually polluted oxygen creeping up around there as well. We've got a pollution. Uh, Boris Johnson is attempting to get on top of the water spill there. Oh, are you ill? Okay, no, it's just the, uh, it's just the hypothermia. <laughs> We're so close. Come on. I mean, we were talking earlier about how our breathability, fuck me, 26%? Okay, we may, we may have uh, taken a wrong turn here. I'm not sure my part, my uh, MPs have got much left in the, uh, in the tank, literally. This truss is supposed to be my good builder. Oh, look, Kira is finally making some food. Just, I'm just thinking, is that ladder going to be in the wrong place? There's a chance that ladder's in the wrong place, I feel. Very nifty little animation there, I like that. Annoyingly, though. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> For God's sake! Okay. Right, we're going to have to... Um, we're going to have to redo that gas pipe, because the, where the gas pipe is, it's not really much of an airlock, is it? And I, I don't know if any... I don't know if the... Um... Any of the walls that we make. The tiles, for example, are they... Do they block gases? I'm assuming they do. Or could we just do that? We might just be able to do that, actually. Okay, bye. Okay, back to, uh, back to the original plan. We should be able to do that. Right, so what so what's that green thing that you've just done then? What's just what have you just improved on? I don't know what it is that she's just improved on. Right, well, in any event. That is improving. Right, so we've got our little trap, if you like. Breathability has gone up a little. Do we risk bringing in another person? Do we risk it? I think we do need to get that in there as in preparation. It's very tricky this game to stay on top of everything. It, it, it creeps up on you like a, like a, an invisible gas that it is. It just creeps up on you, and before you realise it, you're actually in a, in a pretty shit, shit, shit situation. It wasn't that long ago, like in the last episode, where I was standing and going, "Do you know what? Everything is going quite well. Everything is going really well. We've got loads of oxygen. Everyone's happy. 
We've got food production on the way. Everything is fine. And then all of a sudden, 40 minutes of recording later, here I am with breathability at 35%, less than 20,000 calories worth of uh, food left. Wondering on earth how we are going to get through this next little period of um, of time. Right, can we... i tell you what, let's make... Can we make those things priority, please? I still don't think we're moving this far enough away, but we need to do something. We can always move it further away for the time being. We've just got to try and get away or find a way of getting this stuff moved. We're trying. We're trying, people. Come on. Keep going. Keep up the hard work. I'm hopeful that we're about to turn a corner. If we can just get this last little bit finished, although it is now bedtime. Do you know what? I think we do it. I think we do it. Or do we just reject them? Because we could do with plus two to excavation. What do we need? We have a, we have somebody who's good at cooking. We have somebody who's good at construction. We have somebody that's good at medicine and somebody who's good at farming, right? So I don't think we need this person. And I don't think we need that person. Because also I think Keir Starmer is a decent cook. So we don't need that. Increased medicine. You're good at excavating decent machinery. I think this person here... I think Rowan. Uh, let's take a look. Rowan ha Rowans have exceptionally large hearts and express their emotions most efficiently by yelling. <laughs> Who do we name this one? Right. We're going to go with this guy because he's spent most of his time whilst he was in uh, the um, speaker's position by shouting the same thing over and over and over again. Welcome everybody, John Murkow. Is it Mursal, Murkow? Order! You're yelling across the chamber. Be quiet. Mr. Jacob, order. I don't know why I said John Murkow as well. It's Burkow, isn't it? I'm not entirely I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce his name, but we're going to go with John Burkow, who is a man who does very little else other than shout. And now we have a problem because we don't have space for a bed for him. We don't have a space for a cot. Um. We can't dig that way anyway. If he goes there. Uh, yeah, I may have to... Uh, okay. We might have to deconstruct. I think we also probably need a... Uh, another outhouse right let's take a quick look at um, John Murkow so he's interested in hard digging well you're going to take a skill in it then so he can now so we now have somebody straight off the bat who can do that job that is pretty awesome So now we can, if we wanted to, we can now dig that. John is the man. And he goes and gets his skill. 
Puts his hat on. And away he goes. We will need a couple more of those. We're going to get some more uh, mealwood, mealwoods down because they grow quite quickly. I just If we can just get this done, this area done, they can get back to focusing on everything else. This just seems to be taking so long because they have to go in there and hold their breath. It just takes so long to complete the job. Right, they're finally doing the gas vent, which should mean these gas pumps... Pu jump into life there you go they jump into life and we should now start seeing gases flowing through here there the here it comes look you can see the gas coming through so now then hopefully we will see gas leave through said vent there we go right Okay, we're, we're, we're off and running. Still work to be done. We still need to get this bottle emptier. Done. We have a second toilet. We've got some digging up there. We've got power that obviously we now need to make sure stays up and running. Uh, did we complete that research, by the way? Which was... What did we do? Uh, I can't actually remember what we told them to do. Oh, it was this one, wasn't it? And they've not even started it as yet because they're doing other things. So let's see how much difference it makes. Already, we're seeing oxygen in there. Right. So, polluted water will go through there. Here comes Cameron with the first batch. How are we doing? Again, look at that. Look, we've lost all the red from there, which is fantastic. That's making a difference as well. So, I'm hoping we leave this just for a little while now as the polluted water gets dumped into... Oh my God, that's taken up. Oh, shit. Okay, that's taken up a little bit more space than I was uh, anticipating. Well, hopefully that we haven't got a huge amount... Oh, mind you, the polluted water from these things is... from these algae... Well, I hope... Maybe once we... Um, once we get this gas thing up and running, and if we can actually use those to good effect, we can get rid of those uh, terraniums anyway, because we shouldn't need them. Right. Uh, we, we'll cancel that. Right, we're done. We are done in here. Other than just maybe just digging those two out just so we haven't got to climb over it every time. But that is done. We have finally completed that task. Look at the difference this has made in here. This was virtually all red in here. So it is making a difference already. The airlock, in theory, should stop the air going through there. Other than the odd time where somebody just needs to run through and take something out. Okay, this is good. What's breathability? 84%. This is good. This is good news. We do need to get another bed in before the uh, the end of the cycle. But we can finally now return to other things. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Hilariously, it's actually pumping oxygen into here as well. Maybe we could, once we don't need these anymore, maybe we just build a bunch in here. Maybe we can actually end up making this livable as well by just having these things that um, consumes the carbon dioxide. Now, this is good. This is very, very good news. And they can get back to doing other things. Look, all of a sudden, look, we can create some food. We can do some research. We can get back on the power generation. I've accidentally flooded down down there again, but we don't we don't mind. We 
We just added more water to our supply. That's what we're that's what we think. That's what we're gonna go with. Right, okay. Well I think um I think that's gonna do us for this episode, you know. I think we've uh, we've made some steady progress eventually. It looked pretty bleak at one mo moment, I'm not gonna lie. But the fact that we're able to just pump some carbon dioxide out of there, this has become way better. This is becoming better. Still not perfect, but it's breathable. Look. Very breathable, just breathable. But so we're getting there. Um we need to get that thing turned back on as well. Start pumping out some more oxygen again. Just to make that upstairs a bit more breathable, because that is running out of oxygen. Um, and yeah, we're, we're doing okay. I mean, it's it's not perfect, my little colony, um, but we're doing we're doing good things, and I mean, I'm enjoying the process here. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, everybody. We've uh, we've probably steered away a little bit from the um, uh, the leaning into this game from a UK politician's point of view. Um, but just trying to get on top of all the problems, hopefully will now enable us to get back to the memes. <laughs> uh, so yes, thank you very much everyone for watching. Um, this is Oxygen Not Included, of course, this is part number three. Uh, I will shortly be calling number four so we can get some regular content coming out. There's more to come in the channel as well. Manor Lords comes out tomorrow at time of recording. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we've got some more content coming for you soon. So thank you very much everyone for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe down below. Ring the notification bell for more videos and we'll see you all in the next one.